and now my tires are gone. My tires are gone. And my car is like almost on the floor. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's, you know, it's kind of weird. Like, I do like a weird, like, like celebration kind of thing with my arms. Like, where my, my elbow is facing out. And it's like I push down. Like, I don't know if I can, like, include a pic in this. But, like, my elbows go facing outward. And you, my forearm is sticking up. Kind of like the top shot of float thing. Where it goes, I, I, I. Something like that. I don't know what I'm doing. We're back into this thing. And today we got the spike strip system. Now, you can't deploy these. These are automatically here. Now, these are some dope looking spike strips. I... Now, I have to admit, this is a free model, but I use free model um, buildings and stuff for all of my, like, scripting because I don't have, like, a builder or whatever to do this for me. But this this looks freaking wicked. Like, I, I, I really like this. So, I'm going to be showing you guys basically, like, how to how to script a, a tire popping system, basically. Now, you guys are probably wondering, well, when I drive over them, they have the little wedge or the little ramp that lets me go over them. Then... What you do is just place a ramp, like in real life, over half of it, so that way only one side can go over the spikes without touching them. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to the toolbox. I'm going to go ahead and type in car. Now, a lot of you are like, oh, we don't use Lamborghini. That's fine. That's fine. Um, it's the only one I trust really to work. Uh, I've tried some other vehicles. They don't really work. So, um... I'm gonna scroll real quick, see what I like. Honestly, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna use the Lamborghini Huracan. It's not like I have any influence on this vehicle. So we got the Lambo Huracan, nice. And the first thing you want to consider when you're doing the spike strip system and the tire popping system is basically. So looking at the wheelbase of the vehicle here, we can see that it's very distinguished in what each thing is. And that's what we like. It's a lot more polys, but this is exactly what we like. So we look at FL, which is front left, and we can see that it's a tire. <clears throat> now, highly, highly recommend that you change your wheel model to tire or something as long as you keep everything consistent in doing so i know to look for tire alrighty and now we just need to make a script and just to make a script here now i noticed that there are two uh like things here that are like i don't know like these little holder things um that's not really that important what we want to do is look for kind of like the spikes right here. So I noticed that all of these are titled handle. And this is awesome. And, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, what we're gonna be doing is using a for loop for touched function, which is incredible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert one script. So a lot of you are just like, okay, insert a script or we'll make the script copy it and paste it into each handle but in fact that takes so much bandwidth and so much cpu just and runtime overall that you want to reduce the amount of scripts in your game so we're going to use it as one so i'm using this so guys don't say it doesn't work if you're not using the same spike strip system highly recommend you use this one though just that's just a recommendation also race system coming soon fyi so I'm using this one, it's a free model, just type in spike strip. And then what, what you can do is just do a simple for I V in pairs script a parent get children. And now you just got each one of these name handle, which is awesome. So we'll do, and then we'll do, so literally we'll do do. And then we'll do v dot touched connect func connect function. So I think we've done this before on the channel, but we're basically just adding a function to each of the handles. So we're basically just gonna say 
and then we'll do a hit we'll do a little hit parameter so if hit dot name this is very important this is what you guys are going to need to know i'm using tire please watch the video please just that's all i ask just please watch the whole video so you understand before you go in the discord asking for help it's please understand that mine is called tire yours can be called whatever but i want to make my tire right here this little thing right here i want to make i can alter it it it's just basically whatever you guys want i can change the material when it hits it i can do whatever but i can make it invisible see boom and now we just lost the actual thing itself or i can even destroy it which is i can literally do that boom it's gone now there's a pos there's a list of possible combinations I'm afraid destroying the model itself, the actual part that contains it, front right, will do, will actually bug out the model and screw up the velocity. So for demonstration purposes, I, I mean, if you guys want to do that, you just say if hit, uh, if hit dot name, or if, actually if hit dot parent, or actually you could just do destroy hit dot parent actually, and then it would just destroy whatever the parent of it is. But we have to first declare if hit dot name equal equal tire then say local tire equals hit boom so that's just a little thing like because we're gonna have so many parts touching this like the disc the logo and the rim and the ground as well i mean and it's just a whole bunch of like people even walking over this so we have to make sure that it's called hit and you can even make it more specific by adding like if hit dot parent like in the humanoid touch function but that's some other thing and we'll basically just do We'll actually do tire dot, and then what does it say? We'll say tire dot transparency equals one. So we'll make it invisible just for the purpose. You guys can destroy it if you guys wish to. You can look at the docs about that. And then we'll just do something like, um, I think can collide. We'll do can tire dot can collide equals false. And as you can see, nine lines of code. You guys can actually make this shorter by removing this line, but I just added it. And basically, it's just, I just want to thank everyone for this opportunity for even, I mean, I'm a small channel with 2,000 subscribers. And I mean, I'm just out here, like, just, you know, doing my thing. And I just appreciate you guys, you know? I mean, I feel like you watch a YouTube video and you're just like never, ever going to watch their channel again if you're not a sub. And as you can see right here, hold on. My tires have like popped. Obviously, they still work because I haven't like destroyed them. But this was just for the purpose of this video. And now my tires are gone. My tires are gone. And my car is like almost on the floor. And now it's, once I destroy them, it'll be hard to drive. And there you go. And that's that right here. It's actually kind of bugging. Oh, there goes my car. Well, like I was saying... It's just, I really appreciate you guys because of of just how you guys have been with the response, the comments. Love you guys. And I feel like when you watch a video, you probably will never watch that channel because there's billions of channels. But, I mean, if you're not even a subscriber, but if you're just engaged in a community like this, I mean, that's insane. I mean, I, I just want to thank you guys really for everything that you guys do. And remember, you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to, but if you do and you want updates and videos like this, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. But I'm not gonna say, oh, you have to donate stuff like that, like big YouTube. Mm -mm. I just want to thank you for the opportunity and watching my channel, and thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, and thank you for leaving a comment of how awesome I am. Nah, I'm just kidding. But uh, if you do that, that's awesome, and you might get your comment featured in a video. But yeah, nine lines of code. I mean, compared to other YouTubers, they'd probably spend about 10 minutes introducing uh the topic and then about two minutes on the code but it would probably end up being like 25 30 lines over complicating with events and stuff this is all filtering enabled by the way and this all stuff this all works make sure that you do have the correct name of your tire without further ado guys i'm just gonna go and say bye bye have a great day stay safe peace Listen.